Hello, thanks for joining me again in uh, today's video on V-Ray. Um, we're going to do uh, a video on instancing objects and lights within your scene. Um, it's something that uh, many people just kind of don't know um, or are not aware of. And they can really um, just kind of bog down their file in the lighting calculations. So this is my scene right here. I have one proxy object with a light in the scene and that's it. Um, when I render it out, it takes about two minutes um, to render, and it's um, just my car that I was using for my other tutorial the other day. Um, so if I come in here and I actually uh, just zoom into my object and I'll click render, um, we can watch the lighting calculation here, and you can see the lighting calculation is taking about five seconds, um, and that goes into the pre-passes and then quickly goes into um, starting to render the object. So you can see um, you know, this file is, is fairly light, it's just the one light in the one car. Um, let's say, you know, I have, a, let's say this is a tree in my uh, scene, or maybe a bunch of people, or, you know, what, whatever it is, um, whatever type of geometry it is, um, you know, if it's in my, my file here, and I, I start to copy it around, um, you know, so maybe it's, like I said, like a line of trees, uh, it, it doesn't really matter what it is any type of geometry um, that's in your file so I did 25 down and just kind of three across here so we have uh, basically a hundred objects in our scene now and so if I come in here it doesn't really matter where I put my camera because as soon as I hit render um, you're gonna watch our light cache time uh, just kind of slowly increase here um, also our memory usage is just gonna kind of slowly creep up and, and continue creeping up and that's because what I did was I created a copy of uh, my original object and so now that I have all my my trees and all my you know entourage and, and different people and, and bushes and whatever it is I've added to my scene you know even if I had um, a bunch of a bunch of other cars at some parking lot or something um, and I, I made copies of cars I didn't you know instance them around um, you can see our uh, light cache time is taking quite a bit longer than the uh, you know the 10 seconds that it was taking before. You know even if it takes like four minutes to to render this out, it's still uh, you know significant increase in time um, compared to before. So that kind of illustrates my point why it's just kind of bad to to do a copy of the object. So I actually want to undo. Or actually, you know what? I'll just delete this stuff out. And this time what I'm going to do is hold my shift key and I'm going to make an instance 25 times over and we're going to do the same number of objects and I'm going to make an instance three times back. So now when I zoom into this object, essentially what, what's going to happen now when I go to run my, my calculations and everything. Um, since this is an instanced object, and I can tell that um, if I go into my group here and uh, go into this group as well, um, when I select this object, you can see that this object is actually um, bold here in my uh, modifier uh, window. If I bring this object out and make a copy of it, when I select the object, you see it's no longer bold. So I, I know that, that is, this is not an instance, whereas this is an instance. Um, and what it's doing when it does this is it only, you know, does the calculations one time. And then it kind of says, okay, well, that's the same, and that's the same, and that's the same, and it just applies it to all of them across the board. Um, it's the same for your lights, you know. And if I need to come in here and, you know, for example, scale my lights, maybe I have some object randomizer where, you know, if it's a bunch of trees or something, I can randomly scale them, randomly rotate them, um, you know, same with, same with my cars as well or, or whatever it is. Um, so if you have you know a bunch of geometry that's repeating, you could you could scale the stuff, you can change the stuff, you can rotate the, rotate the stuff, you can do all of that different stuff um, to your object, and you know it's still going to be fine. But you know this time when I hit render, it, it's only doing the one lighting calculation. You can see my light cache is going much much quicker now um, than it was before. It's it's not taking minutes. You know it's back down to taking seconds. So you can see just by just by creating an instance uh, versus a copy, I'm back down into the uh, seconds rather than the minutes for my lighting calculations. And this is kind of a really uh, critical thing when you're working in a file and you have a lot of stuff going on. Um, 
you know, it's very easy to kind of let it get away from you and start making copies of everything. And, you know, if I have 10 different um, types of trees and I, I copy that around, um, you know, 10 times each, uh, you know, it's a lot of geometry floating out there and it's, it's, it's basically trying to do the lighting calculations for the same tree 10 different times. Um, and then you have 10 copies of those, you know, 10 different trees within your file. So y you can see it's just doing a lot of extra calculation that it doesn't need to do. Um, so I'm just going to cancel all of that because it really doesn't need to finish. So <clears throat> basically that's, that's it for this video. Um, it's just kind of going over the importance of making an instance um, and, and how it can begin to, you know, as, as you saw, impact your um, time just in the, the calculation, um, you know, in, in the rendering phase, not even getting into the rendering portion of it.